No breakthrough, no bailout and no big European meeting today. Virtually no chance of an imminent full-scale deal to save Greece from further financial implosion. European Union leaders cancelled today's summit after finance ministers said Greece's latest proposal aimed at securing a third bailout did not go far enough. Those lower level talks are still going on but hopes seem dim. I'm still hopeful, but I think we're very far away uh, from the type of conditionality that we need. If this was a negotiation from 1 to 10, I think we're still standing somewhere between 3 and 4. So making progress, but not there yet. Now let's get the latest. Alinda Labrapoula is standing by in the Greek capital. But first, Richard Quest has the latest on the talks underway in Brussels. And Richard, with this EU summit cancelled, it's not looking very good. What's your take? I think there's no possibility at all of a full deal. We've been told that by at least three different Eurozone finance ministers. So the best they can hope for is to cobble together some form of commitment or undertaking that not only says they stand with and by Greece, but that ultimately they're now looking to Greece to see what the country is going to do. It really is a case of show me what you can do, not tell me what you're going to do. And as the Slovakian minister told me when he arrived at the meeting this morning, it really is still all about trust. It's not possible to reach deal today. Uh, okay, we can rag on certain recommendations for the head of state, that's all. The bridge of trust, it's so, David, it's not possible to, to achieve the deal. Now, the issue, of course, is how do you, how do you quickly regain trust and one of the ways they're talking about is getting or asking the Greek government almost immediately next week to start legislating new proposals start putting into law the promises that they made in their document that will create problems for the Greek Prime Minister if he tries to railroad it through Parliament but he, of course time is not on his side the banks remain closed uh, the banks remain closed and ultimately uh, the people are continuing to suffer it's a very, very difficult situation. And yesterday we heard uh, talk of a potential temporary exit uh, from, from the German camp. Uh, is that even possible? If, if Greece were to exit, would it be temporary or would this be permanent? No, if Greece were to... I mean, the, te the whole temporary exit scenario is fanciful, frankly. Um, those I've spoken to say it's extremely complex. You're talking about either parallel currencies or the introduction of a new currency. You have to re-denominate all the loans, all the deposits, and then you have to do it all in reverse uh, thereafter. It's simply one of those esoteric economic ideas that people float every now and again because academics have dis discussed it in learned journals. But you, it's not really a runner. And if they were to try it, then uh, nobody's under any illusions. It's Grexit it by another name uh, they wouldn't be coming back into the euro anytime soon so i think the whole idea of a temporary grexit is one of those things that nobody is talking about okay richard quest in brussels thank you very much let's go to linda labrapoulou in athens and uh, linda clearly the banks remain closed how bad could it get for the people of greece if they remain shut for another week it's just a question of time. A whole other week would be a very, very long time for Greece. I mean, from everything we know, really money is running very low. We're waiting to see what the ECB, the European Central Bank, will decide tomorrow concerning liquidity. And of course, that really depends on what uh, the leaders, the Eurozone leaders, decide today. If we have some kind of in-between uh, commitment that there is uh, room for a solution soon, there is a small possibility that the ECB might decide to raise liquidity but uh, this is not a very likely scenario at this option so what we're seeing is that uh, cash is running really low and also at the same time all kinds of businesses are really suffering because because of the capital controls imports and exports are becoming more difficult all kinds of transactions are, be are being uh, really being put on hold so as a result what's really needed for the banks is a solution as soon as possible and no doubt the future of Alexis Tsipras must be looking pretty shaky right now as these talks continue with no sign of a deal. 
Well, absolutely. I mean, also, he's facing, although at this uh, parliamentary vote, he did really well. He got 251 votes in the 300-seat parliament. At the referendum last week, he got 60% uh, support. Now that it's finally coming to the time that we're looking at these measures being close to possibly being voted in, we're hearing from a number of his MPs uh, who have said, well, we've backed you until now, but we're not going to do it again. So he will be facing a number of problems within his own party and what remains to be seen we expect that the reshuffle is possibly even a question of uh, not even a day possibly hours i mean as soon as uh, we, we find out what happens in brussels tonight where the next step for greece is is a reshuffle and after that i think what he will try to do is to try and see uh, what other alliances are there we're looking at the possibility of a broader coalition uh, you know some steps to pacify the europeans the creditors that greece can vote through and implement those measures. Mm, a lot to keep our eye on today. Linda Labrapoulou in Athens, thank you very much. We'll talk to you soon.